Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth Travelers. Oblix here, coming at you today from Project Ozone Light. How y'all doing today? So, another great day up here in the sky. And last time, we built this mystical agriculture farm, and it is working a treat. Look at all them things growing in the background. Some diamonds, and some quartz, and some certus quartz, and fluix crystals. Terra steel, there's electrical steel back there, and way, 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 way back there, there's some silicon right over the top of my head. Oop, just disappeared. So, today, I want to expand upon this just a little bit. Let's get suited up. And back in our regular old view, what I want to do today is grow some additional or make some additional seeds and grow them and process them uh, since we really didn't get to see that process in the last episode because I derped up the audio. Yep, made a mistake. It happens. So I kind of want to go through the, the seed crafting process with you guys so anybody that doesn't know how to do it uh, can see how it happens. Uh, we're going to do some special seeds today though. Some that require a little bit of special treatment, or at least one of them does for sure. Uh, but first, quick Terra Shatterer update. Let's see where we're at on this bad boy. Yeah, about almost halfway to the S. As you can see, the higher this thing goes, the more mana it takes. Uh, and it uh, takes longer and longer and longer to level up. So I'm just going to move it over here to this pool. Make sure we get the little lightning bolts. There we go. There they are. So it'll suck that pool dry and that pool will start to fill up. I mean, it's getting the burst out of here and out of there, but uh, that just gives it a little head start. So if you remind me, we'll try to uh, check in on this at the beginning of each episode and see how it's progressifying. So now let's get back onto the red dome where I have expanded our processing house, our mystical agriculture processing house. Now I said I was going to go that way and that way and I ended up only going that way because well I got lazy and didn't want to do this side so if we need more I'll go that way but for right now that's eight more slots, eight more crops we can grow. So, reminder of what we're growing already is these right here. Now, today, one of the ores that I don't have a cow for, don't have a cow, man, uh, but we use all the time to go along with silicon is solarium. So I want to see if we can make a solarium seed. And I have no idea if we can or can't. Let's find out together. So there's Solarium. Ah, there is Essence, which means there's a seed. And it's a tier 4. That's higher than I thought it would be. But that's okay. We can get there. We can get there from there. So let's craft this bad boy up. Actually, let's get to Mystic Soul Seed. Aha! That'll make it a little easier. Oh, we already did that. Hang it. No! Okay. Let's review. We did this in the episode where we were making our jetpack, but let's review how to make large quantities of... One, two, three. There. Of essence quickly. So start with the blocks. And we want to get our Master Infusion Crystal out. It's easier to do this in a crafting grid because you can just pop that in there like a so. And we're just going to pop these in like a so. And notice it goes from Inferium to Prudentium. You can only do this with the Master Infusion Stone. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna leave some of this prudentium, but not all of it. We're gonna take some to intermedium. And actually, we need to leave some intermedium, don't we? There we go. Some to superior. Now you can take this, pop it in there, and get the essence out of it. Like so. Pop that in our system. Give it a sec to recognize. Come on, recognize! Wasn't it that one? Or that, which one was I build? Was I building this one? I don't even remember at this point. Wasn't that one? What the heck one was? Oh, it was stuck there. Come on, you silly thing! Grief, why is that so daggum difficult? Oh, we have to get into applied energistics sometime soon, because this is getting on my daggum nerves. Alright, now we need a better crafting system. Alright, now we're ready for our solarium seeds. So just some solarium with superium and some tier 4 crafting seeds. Bingo, bango, bongo. There's our solarium. So we can pop that into our farm. And let's get this solarium planted. Now that was... I want to look at the recipe to turn the essence into ingots. Okay, so it is a full size one. So let's plant it one, two, three, right there. And we'll just let this guy cook up. And he will turn into solarium and seeds and things of that nature. Actually, he's growing pretty quick. Already at 57%. 85, and then 85. And done. And I think he already shot it over to the other side. He does grow quick. Look at that. You go, boy. All right. So that was the first one we're going to do. We need to set up processing for it. And it probably came all the way over here, I would guess. Where did you go? Aha! Solarium seeds and solarium essence. Fantastic. So we're going to process it here. And we're going to go around like this to show it how to turn it, the essence, into an ingot. So that will do that. We're going to put the... Actually, let me get my keys out. Key. My locking key. And we actually need to lock all these. Just like so. And I'm going to put the solarium seed right there. Then we need to come up here and lock all of these so they don't get nothing wacky and put our solarium essence there nice now we need to get out of our system here conduits a conduits how about some conduits put them there and there now this one needs to be on 
insert green extract brown. So in and out, insert green and extract on brown, always active. And then this guy needs to be on in oops, he needs to be on both, and it is insert brown extract blue. So we want to be insert brown extract blue always. Fantastic. So he's already getting the solarium essence. Wunderbar. Now this guy needs to be on insert from the green. So we want to insert from green. Awesome. And we'll want to add void upgrades to all these. I did tell you I'd do that at the end of the last episode, and I did. We were not going to get overrun with seeds. So, void upgrades. And let's just pop all those in. I'm not worrying about capacity upgrades. Uh, whatever these drawers hold natively is, is more than enough. We should never need more seeds than that. Now you can actually reprocess these seeds back into additional solarium with a seed reprocessor, and we might do that down the road. But for now, we're just going to let it pile up with seeds until uh, these drawers get full. So there's our solarium. That should uh, work, except we have nowhere for it to go. So come back to our key. We're going to unlock that drawer. And we just need the system to produce enough solarium essence. Ah. It needs one more essence. And it will uh, have enough to produce a solarium ingot. We can throw in that drawer over there. Boom. So it actually produces four per. Wow, okay, fair enough. And there we go. So we're going to lock that drawer and we're good to go. That is the whole setup. So let's try it again. But this time I want to try it with something a little bit harder. We're going to do a... There's two things I want to do and I'm trying to decide which one I do want to do first. I want to do another star, and I want to do a ghast here. So if we do ghast, ghast seeds require ghast chunks. Ghast chunks come from tier 4 chunks, which come from tier 3 chunks, which come from tier 2 chunks, which come from tier 1 chunks, which are zombie chunks cooked. Zombie chunks our tier one chunks, blah, 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 blah. I think this is where we need a dagger. Is that it? Used to obtain mob chunks. Yeah, solium dagger. Now we make solium. We have cows that make solium, so I'm not worried about producing that nonsense. Let's create one of these daggers. Ha ha! Now we go find mobs to give us chunks. Huh. There seem to be a lot of mobs up there. I could turn the fans off and then attack. I don't know. That seems overly complicated. I could uh, disable the light somewhere. What's down here? Ah, our, our old chicken farm. We can rip part of this out. I did have a bit of a fright when I logged in today. Uh, our storage was offline. But I just run out of nutrient distillation in the, not in the tablet here, but in the uh, main unit back over there. I just had to run to the cow farm and get some more nutrient distillation. So it wasn't as bad as it first appeared, but you always get that little moment of panic, like I'll never get my stuff back. 
There we go. Nice and dark. So let's go up here and see if we can get some baddies to spawn. Already got one or two. Let's get a few. Some bats. I don't want bats. I want zomberts and things of that nature. Let me fly over here. There's some badness. Hi. Can I have your chunks? Hey, zombie chunk. Awesome. No zombie chunk there. My zombie charm's gonna break. And these guys are gonna see me. I see you. You're being very, very quiet. You gave me a chunk. Alright. How many did I need? Gassed. Four. Right? Yeah. Now, supposedly, we just cook these things. Like I so. Okay. Come on, I just put them in. There. Oh, I hope I have enough gas tears. I do, I do. Now I've got to make a tier 4 seed. There's tier 4 seed. Now we should hopefully have everything to make a ghast seed. There we go. Gas seed. Sweet. Let's go plant this bad boy. So that's one, two, three. That's one, two, three. So this will be one, two, three. There we go. We got some electrical steel. I did add, if you see, a uh, advanced item collector from random things here. Because remember we were having uh, the essence kind of laying here on the ground a little bit when it harvested a whole bunch at one time. Uh, this guy set to 10 on the radius on the X and the Y, or I'm sorry, on the X and the Z, seems to have corrected that issue. So, hey, there's our ghast. Nice. Harvest! It's got a happy little face. Actually, it's not that happy of a face, but it's a face nonetheless. At some point, this thing is going to harvest. There we go. Nice. Now, let's go see what happened in the farm. Cast essence. Nice. So we can take that out here. We can set up in this crafter that if we go all the way around with seven of them, that gives us a ghast tier. Then we can pop that essence into there, like a so. Now we need to get some conduit back in here. And we haven't gotten any seed yet, so. Let's see, conduit. It's gonna be 
in on green, out on brown, in on green, out on brown, always active. And this is in on brown, out on blue, always active. Nice. Did exactly what we wanted it to do. Now we've just got to wait for it to get a seed. Then I can populate there. Or I can go pick it out of the farm, bring it over here, pop it in, and take it back to the farm. That's an option too. Now, let's do the big nasty. We're going to work on the nether star. Now, from what I remember in glancing at the nether star, it is a, it's a hassle. So there's the seed. And it requires insanium which is a tier above supremium so how much supremium do we have Ooh, so we're gonna need eight insanium that is gonna be enough awesome let's get our master infusion crystal And there's insanium. Insane in the membrane. All right. So we're gonna have to go all the way up. So there's three. And there is a six. Nice. Now we just need some insanium and some nether stars. And there we go, nether star seed. Now, from what I understand, you can't grow this just plopping it in like we did with everything else. You need this crux. So this crux is some more nether stars, some more supremium, block of diamonds, which I don't know if I have, so let's make one of those. And two of these withering souls. Now you get these when you kill withers. I don't have many. Remember I killed 18 withers plus the... What was it? One or two I killed before that. I think I killed two. So I only got seven. That's not a lot. But it is enough for us to make one. And you need one of these for every seed to my understanding. Yeah, see if you click on the nether star essence you see... You need dirt or farmland with the plant and a crux. So that's the crux of the situation. And I think I'm going to do him over here. I want to do him over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do him right there. Boom. It's done. I'm going to move those right here for the time being. And we're going to go pop that crux underneath that piece of farmland right there. So far back corner, right there. Nether star crux. I don't know if you need to do anything else. I guess I'll just keep an eyeball on this sucker and see if it grows at all. Oh, it grew, 28. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Let's see if we got anything else that has shown up in here we need to address. Ah, gas seeds. We were waiting on those. They go there. But I'm going to take that one and plant it. Now, I don't think I ever made... Yep, I never made a home for the gas seeds. So they're proud... Or the gas tiers. They're just sitting in here. We need to make them a base. Let's get some drawers. Not those. But those. I think we'll just put two in for the moment. One and two. And there's our gas here. So let's get our key out. Go ahead and get our quantity key as well. We'll lock at that one and key it up. Fantastic. So there's our gas tiers. Nice. So there's some more gas. 
and another star essence. Fantastic. Exactly what we wanted. Now, let's look at the pattern for another stars. Oh, we need to turn it into the shards. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a double craft. Well, ain't that just Jiminy fun? Okay, so you know what? We are going to... Huh. Hmm. It is a double craft, so I think we're going to switch from the Indrio crafters to the RF tools crafters. And we're going to go with the tier one. Because these guys can craft more than one recipe at a time. I could do it with two ender crafters and just pipe the output of one into the other. Um, that's not going to look as clean, and I'd have to do you know put one of them inside or one of them you know have them side by side out here, and it would just it's going to make everything kind of off. I don't really want to do that, so. I mean, this is going to be a little bit off in that one of these machines would be different than all the rest. Uh, but it, this basic crafter from RF Tools can do two recipes. So one of which is going to be to... Let me re review this again. Okay, we need three shards to make another star. To make the shards, we need nine essence. Okay, so for the first recipe, you click on the recipe, then you put in the recipe here that you want. There we go, nine essence, make a shard. And let's see, all items in input slots are consumed, yes. The result of crafting operation will go to the output buffer, no. We, want it, we don't want it to come out here to the output, we want it to stay here in the input because we want it to be crafted by the second recipe. So results of crafting operation will stay in the input buffer, that's what we want. So we're going to leave it as INT. And we're going to click apply, now that just makes nether star shards. So the, when we click on the second recipe, we get nothing. When you click on the first recipe, you get the nether star shards. So there you go. That's how that goes. Now we're going to put the shard right there. Now the only problem with doing this is I kind of now am committed to using all of these guys because uh, I didn't put it right here. Mm, neither here nor there. I mean, I can work with it either way. I just would rather not cable these guys up yet until I absolutely need them because it's just one more place for junk to get stuck, you know? Uh, I think maybe what I'll do is... Kind of come up and over everything. So we're not actually connecting that stuff. And as we connect them, we can just pop the top line out. There we go. So that's going to be in on green, out on brown, same as always. In and out, in on green, out on brown, always active. This is in on brown, out on blue. In on brown, out on blue, always active. And then this guy is in on you know what, I'm gonna leave him off right now until we have some seeds. Why are these gas seeds not going down here? Oh because I have that off. It needs to be on insert please. Yeah, that'll take those out of there. 
Now give them, give it to me so I can plant it. And get more ghast tears. All right, that should work for our nether stars once we get some more essence, and hopefully we'll get some seeds. All right, we're back up here. Let's get this solarium out of our inventory and get these additional gas seeds planted. So we're up to six gas seeds. And this is all mystical agricultural, the Mr. Blah, 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 words. This is all mystical agriculture is, is just uh, wash, rinse, and repeat over and over and over until you get enough of whatever crops you're trying to do. Grow! I'm not even 100% sure if the nether star can generate a seed. I'm just assuming it can because everything else did, but who knows. Yep, well, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So at Mystic Hole Energetic Seed. Yeah, I don't have any of this stuff. Uh, any cows for this stuff, so I need a tier four. And I have no doubt that the Vibrant is going to be at least a tier four. Given that you make it out of Energetic, it's going to be at least that if not more. All right, there's our energetic. Now let's get our vibrant. Ha, told you it'd be at least a four. Wound up to be a five. And there's our vibrant. So we'll get those planted. Would have made more sense to make all the seeds and then transport them over here at one time, wouldn't it? But that would have required brain smarts. I ain't got no brain smarts. So there we go. Energetic alloy growing slower than the vibrant alloy. For reasons. Who knows. If these nether star seeds don't grow quicker or don't produce seeds i'm going to actually have to make some more either way i'm going to have to make the crux so that's going to be a thing no matter what you the vibrant alloy and the terra steel sure do look a lot alike i mean that's slightly yellower than that but other than that they pretty much look the same i <laughs> like the little gas face And this energetic is just not growing. Ah, energetic and vibrant. Nice. So we're going to put these two here. So energetic is going to go here. Now, what do you want to bet it's a donut? Ha ha. So good at this game. And energetic goes there. Now. Vibrant donut. Yep. And vibrant goes there. Nice. Now we need some conduit. Hey, hey, hey. I was typing here. Conduit. Got it. Bam, 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 bam. Now we can rip those off. Not needed anymore. And in and out, green, brown, always. In and out, green, brown, always. In and out, brown, blue, always. In and out, brown, blue, always. Nice. Now we gotta hold off on the seed, switching the seeds over until we actually get some seeds so we can populate these drawers here. But, yep, filling up, filling up, excellent. We're up to six nether star essence. Still no nether star seeds, but we will need 
Nether stars, energetic, vibrant, so we will need at least two more draws. Boop, boop. And we want to make sure they all have full upgrades. We need to upgrade all four of these completely. All right. Now that's some upgrades. That's what I'm talking about. All right, just pulled a vibrant alloy seed out of here. So we want to get that stuck in the right place. That's going to be this side. So we pop it in and then just pull it out. We can go plant it. We're still waiting on an energetic seed. All right, just got our energetic alloy seed we've been waiting on a while. So just gonna pop that in there and then pull it right back out. And then make sure we set these two insert. So there was another vibrant seed up there, so we'll collect that. We still haven't gotten any nether star seeds. I really don't think we're going to. Pretty sure it does not make seeds, but who knows? Maybe. Now we're gonna let this cruise for a while. In the interim, one last thing I want to show you today is how absolutely crazy the Wither Boss fight has gotten. So I've fought it about 18 times so far, ballpark. And it has absolutely gotten insane. Oh, by the way, our energetic alloy and our vibrant alloy have made it over here. We can use our key and lock these up. Boom, boom. So we'll get our nether stars. will show up in there, and we'll be good to go. So let's get rid of our key. Let's go ahead and juice up our tablet. Armor's good to go. Night vision's good to go. Oh, you know what we need? You never want to go fight this thing without your witherless rose in your inventory. So let's go pop in here. And hello, ZPEs. I don't remember if I showed you or not. I made a bunch more ZPEs. And have them... Uh, piping through these universal cables into the RF Entangler. And then I have an RF Exciter on the other end collecting all that. A beautiful, beautiful free power. So that's kind of keeping our battery banks all nicely topped up. Uh, it definitely doesn't provide enough to run the base, but uh, it does a good job at you know, keeping us topped up. So I went way out here to fight it, and can you kind of tell where I've been fighting them? Yeah, this used to be at this level. It was flat. <laughs> and I just put the first one down here, and then the second one, and then the third one, and da -da 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 all the way down. Then I took them down and started fighting them over here behind, in this little gap right here, trying to get away from the daggum lightning that they shoot. Uh, it did not help. So... Let's turn on our night vision, head on down and around the corner, into the little hole. I'm half tempted to do it way back up in here. Nah, I want you guys to be able to see it in all of its glory, so we're going to do it right here. And it's probably going to wander off that way, because that's what it normally does. So... You're going to see it's going to spawn ghasts and blazes and wither skeletons and just all manner of nasty. So remember, this pack up. Yep, see, it's already spawned blazes. Luckily, my blaze charm prevents them from seeing me. <laughs> and it's going to kill the gas for us. And that's very loud. Turn 
hostile creatures down. And it's catching us on fire, and we're getting hit by lightning bolts. Oh, there's lightning. Imagine if we didn't have this uh, charm preventing the blaze from seeing us, we'd have to fight them too. Luckily, we have some pretty killer armor. He also gets tougher every time with more and more hit points. Oh. He just spawned a few wither skeletons, just a couple. Let's see if his lightning bolts can kill some of these guys for us. You try to heal on me. Oh, my. Yeah, if we didn't have our charms preventing these guys from seeing us. Uh, that would be a pretty gnarly fight. Luckily, we do have our charms. And he can't... They can't see nothing. I didn't get any of those because I don't have... Urgh, inventory space. I didn't get other stars. Because of all the nonsense in my inventory... Tell me they blew up. Okay. Whew. I didn't get any of those whatever wither head things. So they're pretty rare, uh, those guys. But we did get seven more nether stars. But as you can see, it has gotten to be a, a fairly tough fight. Um. I mean, luckily, we're our armor's pretty baller. The subsidian armor uh, from Mechanism is seriously tough, and we have uh, you know fire protection, protection for protection for on here, and blast protection on our uh, jetpack. So it is not much of an issue for us. Uh, we're able to take a pretty stern beating. But let's uh, zip on back home the quick way just because I don't want to waste video time flying back. We'll check our nether stars one more time. We have our first shard. Awesome! So in our next episode, when we come back, uh, we should have our first grown nether star. But until then, I think that is all the time I got for today. As always, I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, where we've been doing mystical agriculture for the second time. We will not do it next time. We will do something else. Something fun. Though I don't know what it'll be yet. We'll surprise each other. Until next time, get out there and make some noise. See ya!